Hey folks, it's Finn. This video is about coming out to a partner's family and close friends. When I say coming out, for me, coming out means not only coming out as transgender, but also coming out as someone who has a long history of complex mental health challenges and as somebody who is an alcoholic. Yep, I'm a parent's dream for their child. Now, of course, there is never any obligation to come out to anyone as anything. It's a very, very personal choice. And it's one that needs to be negotiated with your partner about how much you want to come out, if you want to come out at all, if you come out and it doesn't go well, how you're going to handle it, and all of those things. For me, I need to come out for a number of reasons, really. Living with mental health problems, there's a lot of stigma attached to mental health. It's better than it was, but it's still there. And there's a lot of shame around that. There's also a lot of shame around being transgender, about being an alcoholic. All of these identities are very kind of disempowered identities. And the way I've dealt with that is to be very open about it because that for me helps to tackle the shame because for me, keeping quiet feels like I'm saying I have something to hide and I have something to be ashamed about when quite the opposite is true. People that battle mental health issues are warriors. It's also important that people get to know me. All of these things are about me. And so if you're going to like me, you're going to like every aspect of me. The good, the bad, the past, the present, the future, all of it. Also makes it easier, for example, if I was at my partner's parents, I needed to go to an AA meeting. At least I haven't got to kind of whisper behind their back and what have you. I can just be very open and say, look, everything's OK. I just need to go to a meeting. The other reason it's really important for me to be out is because I really can't not be because I am all over the internet. I make videos and I write very honestly about everything I go through in my life and also with doing the Open University videos recently and now being on Channel 4. I can't not come out because my partners, family and friends would find out about me anyway. Because my face is everywhere. So that is the main reason Chris and I decided that we wanted to formally come out to his close family, his mum and his dad, his other close members of family and his close friends so that they heard firsthand from him and from me and also to put their mind at rest because you know, there is so much shame and stigma attached to all of these things. And a parent, you know, all joking aside, will worry for their, their child if they're in a relationship with somebody that they worry might, you know, might be difficult for them. So, you know, it was also to put their minds at rest as well, rather than finding out secondhand about my history. We discussed beforehand about what would happen if it didn't go well, because we really didn't know how it would go, especially with the transgender thing, because you never know how people are going to handle that one. And as far as we're concerned, you know, it's not going to impact our relationship in terms of we still want to be together. It would be difficult if people didn't accept. But at the end of the day, it's the relationship is about Chris and I but of course it's lovely when friends and family get on with your partner as well so there was both like this doesn't matter what happens we want to be together but also this really hopeful feeling of oh, please I hope they don't hate me at first Chris and I didn't really know how to handle this whether he should tell his parents alone and then I meet them later or whether we should tell them together and initially I was going to go home with him to his hometown but at the time there was a lot going on for me and I was worried that if it wasn't received well, I wasn't in the best space to deal with that. So we decided that Chris would go alone and tell his family and I would see them another time. But as soon as he left, I knew that I should have gone with him. I had just had a little bit of a wobble and freaked out, I think. But in the meantime, he had told his mum about me being transgender and about all my other stuff. So... I knew that it was going to be okay, so, so I sneakily didn't tell him and got on a train. Luckily I have some friends near where he lives as well. Thanks Gwenny and Tony. So I hid with them for the day and then got onto his mum's doorstep at night and just waited for him. It was so cute. When he turned up he just looked at me with an open mouth and he was completely speechless. And if you've seen my fur fur on my Instagram, you'll know that the last thing he ever is is speechless. I'm really glad I went despite the nerves, because me and his mum just got on straight away. She now calls me her number two son. 
met his dad, I've met his close friends, and it's just a non-issue really. And I think that's quite often the case, you know, people can have preconceived ideas and inbuilt prejudices against things and then they meet a person, an actual person with these actual things and they realise that they've thought completely wrong about it all, you know, so I do think sometimes I kind of, and I think this is quite common for a lot of people, we overthink it and worry too much about what other people are going to say and how they're going to perceive us, but actually, more often than not, we're fine, you know, so I'm glad to say that it was fine. It's really nice now that's done because now Chris and I can kind of go to the next stage of our relationship because we were being very careful not to link our social media accounts because otherwise people would have found out about me that way. So now people are know, know and it's all out in the open. Now we can kind of join our Facebooks and all of that early relationship stuff. Cuteness. And it's just a big sigh of relief. Being in this relationship is just showing me again how much... I'm just me. I'm seen as just me and it's helping all the time to get rid of the old dysphoria because people look at me and go, oh yeah, yeah, you're a man. So I can understand you had this past and it must have been really difficult, but you're a man. And that's lovely because I always worry coming out people are going to start looking for the female in me. Is it in the eyes? Or asking what my birth name was or if I've got a penis. Oh yes, I have. But everyone was just really, really respectful. I didn't get any questions like that. Um, so, brilliant. So that is my very happy update for the week. So for anybody who's about to be coming out to someone's parents, maybe you're overthinking it. Don't worry too much. It will probably work out fine. But I reckon nine times out of ten, if you're honest about who you are and you're proud of who you are, that will come across and it really won't matter. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next week for your next Finstalment. Bye bye.